Petra, talk about your uh, short film, Tibor. Well, it's about an eccentric elderly man who has developed a lot of habits in his life as a scientist and as my grandfather. Talk about uh, what was maybe like uh, some of the challenges in making the short film. Um, this was kind of cool. I mean, it's my first short that I'm really presenting, which is very exciting to be at Hot Docs for. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, but, you know, it was amazing for me because the beauty of being able to film my grandfather was that I got to see him through the lens of the camera for the first time. And so it created that distance where I could have the opportunity to create a new relationship from an outside perspective, which I think is something we don't always give ourselves the opportunity to do, especially in relationships with people closest to us. Absolutely. Yeah. And how did you uh, pitch this project to your grand grandfather? I or I literally just obviously you know <laughs> pitching to someone big, but like or like, but it's your grandfather, right? Yeah, I didn't really even pitch it. I was just like, "Yo, Papa, can I film you?" And he didn't even pay like he doesn't really pay attention to the camera. He's just talking to me and is so happy to talk about his habits, making soup, and his life as an immigrant coming to Canada, and what his experience has been in the world and growing his family here in this country. So I just asked him a whole bunch of questions and filmed him. And when I edited it all together, I was literally editing it at the kitchen table next to him. And so he, watching him making soup while I'm just going through Premiere Pro. <laughs> and then I showed it to my family at Christmas time to just kind of gauge if they'd be upset or not at the fact that I made this personal film. And he was like, I didn't even know you were doing this. And I was like, why do you think I was hanging out with you for days with a camera? <laughs> No. There's a reason. There's a reason. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, discuss her comments a little bit about, uh, as they said here in the conference, that like 50% of the women, uh, oh, sorry, 50% of the films that are here are from uh, women directors. Can you comment a little bit about that? Well, I think that's really exciting. I mean, I think that in the world we're coming to a place where we're looking to hear more voices, you know, diverse voices, whether it be, you know, female or people of color or anything else because we just want to explore more and hear different stories and so I think that's just a, a wonderful thing that we're working towards in the world. And of course uh, they, they discussed that uh, there's going to be a lot of uh, Canadian short films here so uh, comment uh, a little bit th about that. Well I'm excited, I mean I'm very honored to be one of the, I think it was 23 Canadian shorts that are going to be a part of the festival this year and it's the world premiere for, for my short. So I'm really excited to share it with a homegrown audience and being from Toronto it's an absolute privilege that you know my grandfather who the piece is on will be able to come and see the film and so I think that's absolutely wonderful that we share our Canadian stories. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much.